Hi there, I'm Katie and welcome to the show. Today we're joined by Becky James, who's going to show us this beautiful winter scene card. It features loads of great inking, stamping, heat embossing and spritzing techniques that I'm sure you'll want to get to grips with. Hi Becky, Hi, welcome Katie. along. So you've got a beautiful winter scene that you're going to show us. I am, And yes. I know there's loads of techniques packed onto this one, so should we get started? Yep, absolutely. Brilliant, right, what's first? Right, first of all, I've just got a plain piece of white card. This is 300 GSM, so it's fairly strong because we're going to be piling paint and ink and all sorts Splendid. of things on there, so we do need a nice strong back backing card there. So I've got two um, artiste uh, paints that I'm going to use to start off with and this is what we're going to use to make our background. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the Lagoon Blue. I'm just basically piling on and I'm giving a good coverage here of the Lagoon Blue. That's beautiful that colour it is isn't an it? It's like a really beautiful teal blue it's isn't lovely, it? Let's isn't just it? pull it up so everybody can see beautiful. it. Beautiful. So it is, it's a really gorgeous colour. The next one is Night Blue. So this is what we're going to add on. Um, just to give it a, just the tonal shades, okay. basically. And we don't need to let this dry before. No, I'm just gonna, no. Okay, good, good. Although you might find if you've got a porousy card that it might start to seep. Okay. But if 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 it does, if, and it's already drying, it doesn't really matter. It, oh, okay. It's not. It's we're not trying to blend it perfectly or okay. anything like that. And don't don't worry about what way your strokes go on or anything like that. There's yes. nothing nothing special about it at all, as you can you see. Just keep going until you're happy. Yeah, just keep going until you're happy. I'm perfectly happy with that now. Now, the next thing I'm going to use. This this is the Artiste Blue Pigment Ink and the reason I'm using this as opposed to a dye based ink is that pigment inks, as their name says, are more highly pigmented. Okay. So when you blend them you get a much more vivid colour. So what I'm going to do is try, I'm, I'm basically going to tone down a bit of this a Lagoon Blue to be a, just a slightly darker, more ultramarine kind of colour. Okay. It is a nice technique and it does work really, really well. And you can use your stamp pad foam as well. And I'm not, again, you're not trying to do anything perfect. I'm just blending it in. So let's quickly give that um, a bit of a heat set with my heat tool here. Oh, I've just dropped my glue gun. <laughs> Never mind. This is like crafting in my craft room at home. <laughs> and all we're just doing, just drying that ink off a little bit. Right, so having done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get stamping. Oh, good. Now, the stamps that I've got here, these are the new Bellissima stamps. Oh, yes. And I love this filigree tree. That's stunning, it? Isn't is, it? it's absolutely beautiful. So, I'm going to use white pigment ink, and basically, we are just going to um, ink it up. I'm going to put my tree just slightly over the edge of my of my block but you don't have to if you want the tree completely in there you can and we're just going to lift that off and there you oh, go it's beautiful. really really detailed that's lovely isn't it's it it's really lovely it's great because um it's it's perfect for just jeweling up and adding um some glitter some glitter glue to and that sort of thing oh yeah um which is what i've actually done in the design now i know we normally we go for a perfect impression and perfect um, application of the powder but here it's probably maybe I've just missed a couple of bits of the pigment where it hasn't quite mm -hmm. dried properly that doesn't matter because we're looking for a blizzard effect okay, so yep. the main thing is that I can see the tree quite clearly but those little bit of bits around the outside are fine I'm going to add a bit more around the outside later but we'll start and we'll get this embossed first so all we do just hold our um, glue gun a little bit above and just very, very quickly start to see it turn. Can you see the... That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so I think looking at that, I've managed to cover it all. So we'll just turn that off. Go back to Stunning. that again in a second. Right, now then, what I'm going to do is I've just got my white, uh, my white ink pad here. And I'm basically actually just going to rub it very roughly around the edges. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. If you want to, you can use a clear pad to do this as well, but it doesn't matter. I've got the white here, this is fine. Mm -hmm. and we're just basically going to rub that around the edges. Don't worry if a little bit of the ink comes off, off on your white, um, on your white um, pad, because at the end of the day, when you use it next time, that blue won't come off. It's actually mainly the white that will okay. come through it. So. 
But can you see as I'm putting it, it's starting to build a frame around here and it's a, it's very random almost. I tell you what it reminds me of is if you're looking through a window and there's frost on the outside oh, of the window. Yes. That's the kind of effect I'm looking for. So next thing we're doing very, very quickly, we're going to do exactly the same and we're going to heat these bits up. So what I've got now is each of my snowflakes I've got onto smaller blocks here okay. and I've put three tiny ones actually onto one block. And I'm going to start off first of all by adding the larger snowflake in okay. areas. Um, now what I have done here actually, which just so that it doesn't go over my, too much over my tree, is I've stamped the tree in black onto a post-it note and you stamp it so that it partly goes over the, okay. the tacky bit. And that's, I've cut this one out, but that is a, now a mask. Oh. So if I pop that over where my tree is, it means that anything that I stamp now will, it will stamp onto the, onto the mask so that when I lift the mask, it won't be within the design of the tree. Okay. So the, the tree will stay quite crisp. So it'll look like this bit is behind. Behind, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's exactly it. So I'm just going to ink this up. Now I'm not going to apply quite as much ink now because I don't really want this to be br as bright as the, the white when I was stamping it to okay. get the, the main tree. I, I want it to be quite subtle. Um, and I'm using my pigment ink again. There's no problem in doing that. Um, but again, I just re need to remember to heat set it. Okay. Okay. So, but you can see, I, I mean, the. The detail, I, would, I wonder if you can pick this up, but the detail in this snowflake That's is so superb. That's so intricate, isn't it? Yeah. Now what I'm doing here is I'm adding the smaller snowflakes. So I'm just filling in spaces. And they're just, they're just exquisite. Really beautiful. They are absolutely exquisite. Now I've put three smaller ones together to use them all together, but you can individually use those mm -hmm. and um, fill in the spaces. They are, they're really, really beautiful, these are. And uh, that's all I'm using the smaller ones for. I'm just looking to see where I've got a little bit of a space and just filling in. Beautiful. I'm just going to heat set these again. There's a lot of heat tool work in this one. But it's just to make sure that they don't smudge and um, that they stay nice and crisp. That will just set Beautiful. that for me. And then I've just got one final thing that I want to do to this before I would set this then to one side just to dry. And that is, I'm going to use my white R2 spritzing, Ooh. but we're going to do something a bit different. We're not going to actually use the spritz mechanism in it. So give it a good shake, nice ball bearing in there, so it'll make sure all your pearlescent pigment is nicely mixed in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out and I'm actually going to tap it. Ooh. And this is like almost like your bright white snowflakes yeah. coming down. And you can control that and you just get random snowflakes Lovely. there and that really then gives you your scene now what I will say is as these are drying because the um, paints and the inks are water-based don't worry if it brings through a little bit of the blue into the artiste um, into the liquid the artiste um, pigment um, the artiste spray, spritz has in it it's fine because all you'll do is you'll get a slightly bluey, bluey glow to your oh, pigment okay. so you'll get this nice frosty blue rather than um, rather than the bright white so there you go, so that's Stunning. your actual scene. So on this, the next stage really is I've actually put round the edges some um, glitzer glitter glue, which is the iridescent one. And I, what I do is I um, uh, squeeze a little blob onto some paper and pick it up with my finger and I just dab it on like that. Do so you find that gives you the most control? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I've also added some glitter glue onto the tree around the filigree. Oh, yeah. Now this one, I've actually used the Craft Planet little ah. glitter glues because these have let me open this up so you can see it these have the finest little nozzle so you can so it just goes them. to show that just because it's a craft planet ray doesn't mean it's just for no, children so they, they work wonderfully for for grown-ups as well yeah they, they do as well um and then on on the filigrees as well i've added some uh silver um adhesive gems too beautiful now i've already made my base of my card okay. from earlier on and this is basically, it's um, two of the Bellissima papers which I've layered on top of each other. They're, very, they're quite similar in colour, but they work really nicely together. One's got a more greeny tone, one's mm -hmm. got the more tealy blue tone. And actually the colours work really well with the paints yeah, and everything beautiful. that I've, I've used here. I've put a little bit of um, midnight, not midnight blush at all, oyster blush. 
Oyster blush, <laughs> um, crochet trim around here and some ribbon and baker's twine. Lovely. Now when we've put this on here, you won't see a huge amount of this, but it just becomes part of the background yeah. of the design and, the, and those little details really all add to it. So what we're going to do is, I've already got this ready. Now I'll just show you as well on the back of here, I've left this area here without any foam on because that's the bit that will go over where oh, the, yeah. where the um, border is, the, the fabric border because with all that crochet and that ribbon it's quite proud, it stands quite proud from the card so and um, because of that I've got two layers of uh, foam tape here. Okay. Because of course, if I had if I had the um, foam tape in the centre there, what that would do is it would lift that centre, so it would bow. Yeah. It would actually bow. Right, let's get some glue on here so that if I need to, I can just manoeuvre it around a little bit. It's just my sticky the, glue that stick. That 3D foam tape is super sticky. It isn't is. It, so. it is super sticky. Once it is stuck down, it's not going anywhere, and oh. I don't have the best of straight eyes, so it allows me <laughs> to manoeuvre things around. And what we're going to do is, and I'm going to layer up a little uh, embellishment on the side here, but what I really want to do is to show you how to frost the berries as well. So first of all, I've got some feathers here. I just pop a blob of glue on there and we're just going to stick that down. And I've already got now this, these leaves. If you don't have the leaf die set, really get it. There are 14 different leaves in there, which go from exotic fern yeah. kind of leaves through to your, you know, your English oak leaves and things like that, but through to your holly and your mistletoe. Oh, and the mistletoe. Like that. I was just going to say that. That's my favourite, I think. Yeah, They're really I love versatile. That. I love the mistletoe because then you can get some of the, the shimmer dots, you know, the lovely silver Ooh, or red yes. shimmer dots and put those there as berries or whatever. Now then, next bit is my my festive berries and i am just in love with these <laughs> they come in uh, gold and silver as well yeah. um but I the red ones they're just gorgeous they are, they're almost good enough to eat they sort of they're the, sort of the epitome of christmas they aren't are they, they really they, sum yeah. it up they really are now what we're going to do with these is i've got some paper mania fine glitter here in the iridescent color okay and i've got here this is the stick it sticky glue pen and mm -hmm. it's basically PVA glue in a pen um, and I'm just going to squirt some of that onto uh, my mat. All I'm going to do, just with my finger, if you want to do it with a brush, if you don't, I, I just, I'm... You've got to get your finger in the PVA. Yeah, so that's got it. Do it. I'm not worried about getting messy. It's like being so school. It is, absolutely. <laughs> and I'm just going to tap a bit on like that and basically I'm just going to twizzle it in my glitter. So I'm going to start off, just pop a bit, a blob of hot melt glue on the back there. And I, what I do is start by popping the first one in place, holding it until it sets. And then you can arrange them around each okay. other, basically. Now then, I've used actually here, this is the Bellissima um, Jumbo Ribbon. It's just a gorgeous That is teal gorgeous, colour. isn't it? It's this beautiful, beautiful teal colour. And then really, it's this kind of colour that was the inspiration, really, for me for the, the project, to be honest with you. So... Uh, that's where I started from. That was my starting point. Uh, let's get, let's get the, the glue on the back there. And as I say, I'm going to pop that so that it sits over the, the oh, stems of the berries. Nice. Now, there's one little last little bit that I've got here to go on, and I do want to talk about this just, just briefly. This is actually using, from the Bellissima Ultimate Decoupage Pack, mm -hmm. it's actually using the, the ribbon... Of the, they're like paper ribbon strips, you know, the oh, card, okay. card ribbon strips. Yeah. And I've cut one to make a banner here. But what I love to do is if you actually look at the sentiments, quite often if you, you can group sentiments together and you can make an, a larger or longer sentiment oh. or wish to go on the front. And that's what I've done here. It says to someone special with love. But it's basically just taking two and layering them together so that they overlap and they, they sort of all work together. Making that unique sentiment. Yeah, that's it. There we go, and that's it. And that beautiful. is our finished design. Brilliant. Well, thank you so that's much. A pleasure. That's beautiful. I hope if I get one a bit like this for my Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yes, I have to think about those yet. Don't <laughs> <laughs> um, if you've enjoyed Becky's project, we'd love to hear about it. Why not leave us a comment to tell us what you thought? Um, if you've been making your own projects as well, we'd really like to see those. Why not upload them to docrafts.com and Becky and I might pop over and leave you a little comment as well. Um, there's a really good way to keep up to date with everything happening at Dewcrafts. Uh, we have a Facebook page that we'd love if you'd, if you'd like it, that would be great. Um, you can find the details on screen now. Uh, until next time, happy crafting.